Hello, this is Chris from the Cinema Savvy Movie Podcast and I'm back with two brand new reaction videos today. Um, I'm a little late on these ones, I'm going to be honest. Um, I've been busy the last couple of days uh, editing other reviews, uh, the Jungle Book and Purple Rain one we did yesterday. Uh, so that basically took my whole day up so I didn't get time to come on, record these and edit these two. Uh, that being said, today's reaction is going to be on Jason Bourne Official Trailer 2. Although I think it's Official Trailer 1. We got that really, really short teaser one. Uh, uh, the Super Bowl, um, but this is the first proper full length one. This is like two and a half minutes long. Um, this one's probably going to be a much shorter reaction than my other ones because I, I have seen the previous uh, Bourne movies apart from Bourne Legacy. I've seen the main trilogy with Matt Damon um, and whilst they're not awful films, I'm not a massive fan of them. Um, it's They're very vague in my mind. I remember the car chase from 2 and I remember the sort of long uncut fights the fist fight scenes he has with people there's one from ultimate and where he's running over the rooftops i remember that so they're, they're only really the two bits i remember of the movies um and as i say i didn't see born legacy so i don't know how that carried on the story at all or if this one's even going to reference that because we've got the original director paul greengrass coming back for this as well as matt damon and it looks like that poor jeremy renner is nowhere in sight which kind of sucks how they've sidelined him but uh, we're going to watch this trailer together now. I'm going to talk a bit about it afterwards for as much as I can, although I'm not massively into the series. And uh, yeah, we'll see what it looks like. So I'm going to click play now. I know who I am. When we're finished with you, you'll no longer be yourself. Albert Finney. That's the shot, man. Stop it. I remember. I remember everything. Do you remember that you're remember on Mars? Everything doesn't mean you know everything. Tell me. If you've just been hacked, it could be worse than Snowden. Facial recognition got a hit. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Why would he come back now? Tommy Lee Jones, nice. There's a demonstration in front of the Greek Parliament building. I think she'll use it as cover. They tracked you. We gotta move. Call. So like the Michael Bay he's effect, the firework effect explosion. What if he's not coming for us? What if it's something else? He's a goddamn magician. I volunteered because of a lie. This is Jason Bourne. I need to talk. 32 kills. Safer because of what you it's did. cool how that was fitting in time though with music. Yeah, this is really great. You're never gonna find any peace. Not till you admit to yourself who you really are. July, they're not all too long away, only three months. Uh, okay, so let's talk a bit about this one. So again, I know pretty much nothing. I remember how Ultimatum ended, uh, which I won't give away on here in case someone hasn't seen it. Uh, by the way, we will have reviews up for the other Bourne movies before we get this one, which will be kind of good for me because it'll be a good refresher. But uh, this looks like a really, really solid action movie, not going to lie. Um, I'm getting some kind of Mission Impossible five vibes from this for some reason i have no idea why because it's not team based at all but um the action looks cool that car chase looks amazing and we know that paul greengrass does that the best with born supremacy because that is still gets a little bit shaky cam but that is probably one of the best car chases i've ever seen in movie history uh it's good to see matt damon back but as i said it's kind of 
Legacy is going to be that awkward one now where it's not Matt Damon. It's a different character who's then been sidelined. I know they were talking about possibly, and they may get to this one. I'm sure this is going to be massively successful when they get to the sixth one. Um, they wanted to merge the two characters together. I think that would be cool. And it it'd actually sort of acknowledge that Legacy is still part of the franchise. I think Edward Norton was in that one too, wasn't he? What's also funny is, is uh, the actual title. Like it's not the born something it's just Jason Bourne it's like when Stallone was bringing back his franchises like the the first one that he came back with was uh what was it Rocky Balboa it wasn't called Rocky 6 it was his name Rocky Balboa then he did Rambo and I actually think the extended cut of the Blu-ray of the fourth Rambo movie was called John Rambo and it's sort of doing the same here where it's Jason Bourne uh, so I'm not too keen on the title but I guess they just want to show that you know actually the character of Jason Bourne is back uh, and that's pretty much all I can say. It's awesome to see Albert Finney back again. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones in another movie. I think the last movie I saw Tommy Lee Jones in was probably Captain America, the first Avenger. So it's always nice to see him come back. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty much all I can say on this one, I'm afraid, because I'm not so well grounded into the franchise as most people are. Uh, so that'll do it for my reaction for the Jason Bourne official trailer too. Be sure to comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought of this trailer, let me know what you think of the franchise in general, and are you looking forward to this one? In terms of what's coming up on the channel, tomorrow night, so Sunday night, uh, we'll have times and stuff on our Facebook and Twitter page tonight. We're going to be starting a brand new show on our channel called Timestamp Zero. How that works is that each month, it's going to be the last Sunday of every month I think is the schedule we're going to do. Uh, one of us nominates a list of films which you can vote for and the poll is still up on our Facebook and Twitter page. Uh, it's very, very close so you could have the deciding vote. How it works is that the film that gets nominated the most is the film that we'll all sit down and we'll do a commentary on and all the list of films that are chosen are films that mean something to the person that's nominated them. So Tate has gone up first today. I think he's got like a selection of like five films or something like that. And uh, we're all just going to sit down, we're going to watch it, we're going to talk about it. It's sort of following on from the same vein as our Man of Steel live stream that we did. We really enjoyed doing that, we wanted to do something similar. So uh, yeah, that's up tomorrow. And we're starting our brand new Game of Thrones review series. Uh, that's going to be every Tuesday. Um, I think that's going to be me, George and Tate on that one. We haven't really delved into TV stuff all that much, but with Game of Thrones it's sort of like a big event. And we started it with Daredevil. And we definitely wanted to do it with Game of Thrones, so look out for that as well. As well as other movie reviews and stuff when they come out. Um, so that'll do it for my video for today. And until the next one, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.